Hey guys, it's Kat. Today I have a haul for you. I went thrifting last week on Wednesday and on Friday. On Wednesday I went with a friend and we were actually thrifting for him, so I don't really look around a whole lot for myself, but I found one thing. And then on Friday I went thrifting by myself. And I just went to a Goodwill near my work after I got done working and I found quite a few things that are awesome. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw things from both days. So, I guess we'll go ahead and start with Wednesday. I got something from the Salvation Army and it reminded me that I need to shop at the Salvation Army more often because they're cheap and they have a lot of stuff. But they're on the other side of town so I don't usually go over there, but I need to. <laughs> Lesson learned. Anyway, I found this bag and it's so cute. It's very vintage looking, but it's not vintage. It's actually made in China and it's like brand new, like super brand new. Um, the inside is brand new and I'm gonna stop saying brand new, but it's very cute. It was $1.99. Receipt's still in here. I paid $2.13. <laughs> um, but it has like, oh, it has a little astrological wheel on it too. I didn't notice that part, but there's like, cool little, there's like a globe, and it just reminded me of like old world stuff, like mythological stuff, so I thought it was really cute, I couldn't pass it up, and I bought it. <laughs> so there's that. And Friday I went to Goodwill and I found some cool stuff. Um, this first thing, Dory's going to love because it has feathers on it. It's this maxi skirt, it's like, I don't know if it's, it's black or navy blue, I think it's black. It's black. Um, but it has feathers on it and it makes me think of like autumn, which is good because it's autumn now. But this is really cute. I'll probably wear it for like Thanksgiving. Anyway, I already wore it. I wore it with a black crop top and it's cute. I need to find my brown like lace-up boots because I think they would be cute with this. I keep saying cute. I need to find my brown lace-up boots because they would be badass with this and then wear like my black crop top and then maybe a brown belt around the waist of this. Yeah, that would be nice. We'll do that. Maybe I'll do an outfit of the day with that if I remember. I never do outfit of the days anymore. But that's a cool skirt. It was $2.50 and as soon as I saw it, I knew I needed it. So there you go. Then I picked up this Ralph Lauren shirt and it's from like I don't know, 80s or 90s, but this pattern is like a classic Ralph Lauren pattern and it's like coming back in style for like any pattern. You can find it at Forever 21 right now. It's this like um, scarf print metal chains pattern. <laughs> and this shirt is actually a 3X. It's shrunk a little bit, plus I'm gonna be wearing it as an oversized tee with my black leather leggings. At least that was my plan whenever I spotted it, so. Got that. It's kind of wrinkled, so I'm gonna have to wash it. I mean, I wash everything when I buy it, but you know. Um, yeah. I know. I really actually like this print. I was gonna buy some leggings that had a similar print to this from Forever 21, and I still want to do that, so I need to get on that. Then, oh, I bought these pants that I forgot about. These are stretch pants from. Macy's. They're from their Style and Company line and they fit me perfectly and they're so comfortable. They are these gray stretch pants and they have a pleat down the legs and I don't know I think they're gonna be perfect for work but they're also so comfortable like I feel like I'm gonna lounge around in these even though they kind of look like they look like nice sweatpants but I don't know they're so comfortable but they confuse me by the way they look. They look like riding pants kind of like yeah I don't know, but I like them. They were $2.50 as well. Like everything I got was $2.50. Um, so yeah, this is nice because like, you know these were at least like 25 bucks or so at Macy's, so that was a cool buy. These are so cool. These are the last two things I bought and they are some paintings. I'll break them. This one I got for Dory because she loves owls and mine is of owls too, but anyway. This one was $2, and it's so cute. I like the border because it looks like wood, and I don't know, it's very fa fairy tale ish to me, this one in particular, I guess. It's very cute. I gotta bring that over to her today. I get to see Dory today. I'm so excited. Then for myself, I got this one. 
and I'm going to hang it behind me right here, kind of make a little station for filming. And this one was three dollars. So for five bucks, I got two owl paintings, and I don't know, this one's just really badass, and it's dark, and it makes me think of Halloween, and <sighs> I'm just so excited. It's really awesome. I just knew I had to buy them. I see really badass paintings in Goodwill a lot, and I never buy them, and I knew I had to this time because I just had to. <laughs> That's my only excuse. So I spent, I think, 15 bucks at Goodwill and then two dollars at Salvation Army, so for under 20 bucks for the week, I got some cool stuff. Thrifting, so that's cool. 20 dollars in my pocket. Anyway, Saturday I'm going thrifting with a friend and I'll probably film I'm looking for a coat because I'm going to England at Christmas time. Like, not actually Christmas, like I'll get back on like the 21st, but I'm going to be there for a week in December, in the middle of December, so that'll be cool. Anyway, if you live in England, you should give me stuff to do in England. Like, we'll be, pro we'll probably spend a lot of time in London because we're going to try and plan on staying around London. It's just me and my cousin. She's actually studying abroad there right now. I'm actually just going there to meet up with her. She's been there since August, and she has, like, an extra week that she's staying over after classes in, so we're going to get, like, a bed and breakfast outside of London and, like, leave it as, like, our base, and then we're going to travel around, like, England. And I have a feeling we'll end up in London a lot, but... <clears throat> excuse me, but we do hope to like take day trips around England and I know that it'll it'll probably be cold because you guys have the same winters as we do. I just, I never have a coat because I'm always inside so that's why I'm looking for a coat. Like I don't know where this conversation is going. I'm going in circles right now but I do need to find a coat because I figure we'll be outside a lot in London and here I get by with throwing on a jacket and running <laughs> to where I need to go. But I figure I need to get a coat before I go. Anyway, like I said, if you live in England, especially in the London area, advice for places to eat, places to see, things to do. Remember, it'll be winter time. Thanks. <laughs> oh, charity shops, obviously. I'm going to be filming a lot over there, and I'm going to hope to do, like, thrift with me's London style. So that'll be cool. I'm going to stop talking now, but I love you guys, and I'll have a new video up soon. Bye. <laughs>